it's the crap gone my name is pixie and welcome to my channel of randomness where you never know what you're gonna get today you are gonna get a timu unboxing part two so i did a part one um about half an hour ago actually but to you guys a few days ago so um i've been sent loads of timu stuff and i don't know who it's from i think it's from two people which is Anne marie howells and uh, the old fart and Cooper I think but obviously I could be wrong because Timu doesn't really come with any kind of notes so it's kind of hit and miss who it's from but a massive thank you to those people who have actually sent them through I don't shop at Timu personally so it's kind of cool to get things from somewhere new which is really really good so you're an absolute legend thank you very much I'm just going to turn the telly off because I forgot to turn it off Coronation Street goes off I was watching that right so if you want to see what I've got, please do stick around. But first, before you go anywhere, please like and subscribe to this channel because that helps me so much. I'm trying to reach my goal of 20,000. That is my next big, big, big goal. I think I'm about 17,000 something. Giveaways start at 20K and I have got them waiting down there and they're really cool. You don't want to miss it. So come on if you can subscribe, like, share, interact with my videos. Tick that little bell icon so you get all the notifications when a video goes live. That would be amazing. Thank you. Right, stick around if you want to see what is in these packages. So, as always, want to say this camera's slightly wonky, by the way, because I've got a new phone case on and it won't quite sit in the ring light properly, so I'm kind of at an angle. So, yeah, I want to say massive, massive thank you to everybody who keeps in contact via social media. You are all absolutely brilliant. Love talking to you guys online. Like, unboxing videos, don't get me wrong, are absolutely freaking amazing i love doing them i get really excited about everything and we get lots of things for charity as well which is absolutely brilliant because we are all about supporting our local community and also hospitals hospices and all that kind of stuff because if you don't know my story my little boy was in palliative care had two heart transplants and he sadly passed away last year um, but we are carrying on in his memory and we are supporting other families and other people who need help and we could not do that if it wasn't for the generosity of you guys so thank you so much for everything you do because without you we couldn't do what we do so you are all fucking amazing thank you so much for doing that this is a bit sweary sorry my mental health's a bit iffy and I tend to swear a bit so if you don't like swearing just turn off I really like sorry <laughs> I'm a little bit of a sailor mouth, sorry. But anyway, I tend to get a little bit like, ee, when I get excited. But anyway, like I was saying, massive thank you, Zach. It is so appreciated. It really, really is. So I'm going to crack on without any further delay. Just want to say, you don't have to send me things. So I have a lot of people in message saying, I really want to send you something and I can't afford to. Seriously, like, I have no money. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just not rich at all. I can't afford to send people presents either. You do know something, and I mean this sincerely a message is just as beautiful as receiving an actual physical gift like taking the time to sit down and write to me drop me a message on the crap goth on facebook which i am it's an open page as long as you're not a dick you can come and say hi to me i'm on there most days um you can follow me on tiktok as well do lots of like random stuff on tiktok i'm a little boy Corey's on there you can see this beautiful boy there in the cushion he is also a youtuber from crack in the box i will link it up to the description of this video so yeah, um, just honestly, yeah, thank you all for your support, like, you're all awesome. But I'm going to shut up now and start with this. So we only have four today, so I'm going to make it a little video because it's just gone midnight and I'm quite tired. So we're going to have four, this is part two, like I said, I'm not sure who these are from, but I think it's from William and, well, so William, I just said your name, sorry. So it's from uh, The Old Fart <laughs> and Anne-Marie. But if you recognise something that you've sent, please do comment down below because, like I said, I don't know who they're from. So, right, first one, Timu package. Oh, it sounds like it's got bells in it, so that's kind of cool. Oh, and by the way, if you see movement behind me, I'm just going to move my fat ass out of the way, look. I have a little puppy. Can you see him? He's just here, look. My little puppy, just a hello. And he sits with me. He sits behind me all the time. Now, be careful not to squash him because he's only a tiny chihuahua puppy. And his name is Spooky, and he's been with us for about two weeks now. And he just sleeps behind me all the time. He's really cool. So he might see, might see him crawl out and pop onto my knee. Right, the first package. So we have, oh my gosh. I can see a noodle stopper. And if you don't know what one of those is, you'll have a see in a second. Oh my gosh, look at that. And there's the legs, which is brilliant. I've seen these and they are so nice. Now, I don't know who sent this. So a massive thank you in advance to whoever you are. Okay, the first one is, I've got to do it. 
So it looks like she is a, she looks like Hatsune Miku. So um, don't know if that's who it's meant to be, but she has blue hair, so, and she's kind of anime looking. So straight away my head just goes Hatsune. So let's see. Oh my gosh, she is gorgeous. Look at her. Oh my God, so she is absolutely amazing. So these are called noodle stoppers, if I'm right. And the Japanese people, um, maybe not just Japan, but this is what I've seen on telly. You know, you get like your cup noodles, your pot noodles or whatever. So, you know, you peel back your lid, you give it a bit of a stir, you put the lid back down. These just sit on top of the lid, <laughs> which is really cool. But they're also really good shelf sitters. And I love stuff like this. Like she is absolutely gorgeous. Just look at her. She is beautiful, so thank you. And I love the fact she's got odd boots and she has one pink and one and one blue. So um, I actually wear odd boots too. I wear one pink and one black. I'll go and show you two seconds. And if by magic, I'm back. And these are my boots that I wear. So I wore these boots. They look massive, don't they? I'm a size seven, like UK size seven. They look like boats. <laughs> but they're really, they're really not that big. So I actually wore these with a pink Hello Kitty onesie to the BBC Awards ceremony last year, <laughs> um, which was really cool. They didn't mind. I asked them if I could go in my pajamas because I really am not a kind of ball gowny type posh kind of person. I live in my pajamas, so I messaged them and said. Please go come to the award ceremony in my pajamas. And then my son won an award <laughs> and I won an award. And um, yeah, so I went on stage in a Hello Kitty onesie with odd boots on. And they are really cool. And they looked funky as well. So there we go. Yeah, I really like that. That is so cool. Thank you so much. Right, I've got to keep things down here because they've got a dress on. So I've got to be careful. So the next thing we've got, oh, some Hatsune stickers. Oh my gosh, look. Oh, they are so adorable. So it looks as though there's lots of different kind of kawaii stickers in there. Now, I love anime and stuff like that. I just, I've, my, like, one of my grail dolls would be to own a Dolphy Dream Hatsune Miku or a smart doll made into a, a Hatsune Miku Sakura one as well, because I really like that one. That's all the Japanese blossom. That's all, she's all kind of pinks. But yeah, they've got quite a few little, little different different stickers look, which is really cool. There's a massive bundle of them actually, which is really cool. This way, there we go. She's, she's a little nurse looking, she's riding a syringe, as you do. They're really, really nice. So I keep diaries and this will be really, really cool for my diary. So thank you very, very much. I love those a lot. I love my stationery, I really do. The next thing we have is, <gasps> there's another one, another noodle stuffer. Or shelf sitters. Let's just call them shelf sitters because it's easier. Oh my gosh, she looks so pretty. Sorry about the packaging being really noisy, by the way. Uh, I don't know how I star and my daughter manages to sleep through me in my gob because it's really echoey in here because I'm not filming in the YouTube studio because I'm waiting for the heating to be fitted. And until the heating's been fitted, I can't go in the studio because it's frigging freezing. So I'm filming in my living room, which is very echoey. But oh my gosh, so we have this girl here, oh, and she's got a bunny rabbit on her knee as well. So look at her, she is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the little rabbit, which is like a little goth rabbit, which is so nice. And she's got little pants on as well, which is good, so she's not flashing her girl parts. But yeah, she is absolutely lovely. Now I have a few of these little shelf sitters and they're so, so cute. They are really, really nice. I love them. And she bought them from Kuro Creates as well. So she does really, really nice things. I got them from her, but these are lovely and the quality is beautiful. Seriously, it's really, really nice. The faces are beautifully painted. The colours are gorgeous. The, the the fabrics are nice, kind of like the, uh, not the fabric, but the, the, what they call, the material it's made out of is really, really, really nice. It feels as though it's really, really, really good quality. Does not feel cheap or anything. It's really, really nice. She is so super pretty and she's going to go in my YouTube studio. So thank you so, so very much. I love her. Oh, she's lovely. You guys are awesome, honestly. Thank you so much. The next thing I've got is a mystery bundle in a bag. I don't know what's in here. So, oh gosh. No, I see something black. So, that is whatever that is. No clue what that is at all. Oh, there's another girl. So, I think this might be part of a set. Maybe this is something that she sits on. Right, I'm going to pause it while I just get this out of the bag. Right, okay, so this one's so super pretty and really, really detailed. So you get a little bag of accessories. So in here, there looks to be a hand, or sorry, two hands. And one of them is holding a fan and the other one looks to be holding something like a katana. 
um i hope i've said that right like the big swordy things and so she's japanese and she is look she is absolutely beautiful so hopefully you can hang on up. can you see the just look at the, all the little i'm shaking a bit sorry because look at the designs on that she's absolutely beautiful and the detail in this is absolutely stunning like the detail on the fabric which is it looks like fabric but it's not it's like a plastic it's really nice but just look at the detail on that look absolutely beautiful she really really is gorgeous so um one of these hands is missing here so i'll see this one here so i presume you can take both of the hands off and you can change what she holds or maybe the both the uh, the left hand let's have a quick look oh. i will get there the, they're so small and fiddly that i don't want to drop them so let's see what it is oh my gosh right so should we have the fan so the fan's quite nice right so this is yes yeah, so they're both left hands so you can just change the hand so that that one's obviously the right hand's connected the left hand i'm going to i'm just going to pop in there hopefully it'll fit in quite easily and it should just slot in hopefully there we go and she is now holding a little japanese fan as you can see on there and i still don't quite know i don't know if this is something I, oh that might just slot inside there actually oh there we go i think she's supposed to sit on that she is beautiful isn't she gorgeous oh my god she's lovely oh thank you so much she is beautiful and she's not gorgeous so this one because she's kind of more more black and white my bedroom's gothic well it's black and pink actually but i'm going to put this one in my bedroom because she's going to go much more better with like with the decor much more better i don't think that's very good english but she's really pretty thank you so much oh my god you're awesome thank you very very much okay i'm have oh this is so cool so anyone who knows me or who kind of interacts with me on social media knows that i like highland cows or highland coos they're really cute i went to scotland i saw one oh my god they're so nice like the horns on them are fucking mass frigging sorry massive they come out like here like if they turn their head quickly they are gonna gouge your face off so be careful but they are so the baby ones the miniature ones are so cute and oh my god just look at this it's a highland cow so this is made from acrylic like thick really thick acrylic which is cool and it comes with this little ball chain which is really cool as well so you can just thread that through there where is the necklace i probably won't wear it as a necklace i will hang it up as a decoration on my wall because it's just so cute but it's a coo. There we go. That is absolutely brilliant. And it's quite thick as well. Look at that. Look, the perspex on that is really thick. That is so super cute. Thank you very much. That is really, really nice. Oh my God. Like, team do some really cool stuff. Like, I can't believe it. <gasps> there is another one and he's wearing glasses. Okay, so this one here. Oh, it's got a bell as well. Oh my gosh. So I have to thread this one. So there was a little bell bead there. I'm just going to pop that back in because I don't want the bell to fall on the floor. And then obviously my chihuahua gets sick. So I don't want him to swallow stuff. He's in a bit of a puppy chewing mood at the moment. And we have another cow. I don't think, I don't think it's a Highland cow or not, but it's a cow. And it comes with like some little golden thread, which I can thread. And I can put, they can make this like a little Christmas tree decoration if I wanted to, which is cool. So this is also made of acrylic super thick really nice quality really good print and it's it's really really lovely so i will actually thread this with the bell on it i think I actually dropped a bell earlier as well so i heard something go and i will thread this and i'll hang this up as well somewhere because that is just too cool possibly in my kitchen because it's funky thank you very 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 much and i have Oh my, I have one more item and then that is the first bag done already. And this is something very small and pink. That's what she said. Don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a doll umbrella. So I'm not going to get this out of the packet because it's so small. But this looks to be like a little teeny tiny doll umbrella. And judging by the scale of that, that is one twelfth scale. So I collect dolls' houses. I have a huge Tudor looking doll's house, which is absolutely gorgeous. And um, I collect one twelfth scale furniture and that looks to be one twelfth scale. So that is absolutely the perfect size for my doll's house. So thank you very, very much. That is really nice. And obviously pink is my favourite colour. Thank you for that one. Oh my gosh, this is exciting, isn't it? This is cool. It's like Christmas again. Every time I do an unboxing video, it's like, oh my God, it's Christmas or my birthday or something. I love it. Okay, so I have 
three more parcels to go and I'm going to do this one here so have another packet and see what's in this one again I don't know who these are from so I can't say thank you but like whoever sent them honestly genuinely thank you so much this is so cool the ring light seems to have gone dark Lumos there we go then. and oh my god I need to go on gladiators just to get this open okay oh there is something black and looks as though it's made of net so is it a doll item possibly because i've had quite a few doll items which is really good because i collect dolls all kinds of dolls which is great not the porcelain ones because they're freaky but like i collect bjds and barbie dolls so it is so this oh my god this is like a, it's like a gothic barbie doll dress so there we go it's like a ball gown like a bodice you can see it's got i don't see the patterns on that it's like a patterned bodice which is really cool and a big massive like gothic skirt and it comes with another piece of lace which could be draped around the shoulders like a stole which is quite cool or even like tied around the head maybe but that is really really pretty now I do have a lot of dolls I have doll wardrobes so things like this are perfect for me thank you so so much I will find a doll to put that on as well it's nice to have the choice because I get dolls coming in randomly. I get gifted dolls and everything. So the ones I do take out of the packet, I do like to dress them up, which is cool. And I make them into TikToks. TikTok is there just in case. Please go check out my TikTok as well. Lots of random stuff on there. There we go. And the next item is something that looks so cute. Now, I think this might be from the old fart because I think I remember him, not sure, I think I remember him saying that he ordered some scrunchies for Ostara. Now, if you're new to the channel, Ostara is my little six-year-old daughter. She has hair literally down to her thighs. Like, she is just, she's got the longest hair ever. So there is a little super cute panda, which is really nice. And these have a hole in the middle, like a donut, and you can put them over your hair like a scrunchie, which is really nice. Because it's for her, I'm gonna keep it in the packet, but that is absolutely gorgeous. It's so, so cute. It's really fluffy. So the body's fluffy. The rest of it is fabric and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Really well made. And it's got little hearts on its feet, look, which is so cute. She is going to love that. Thank you so very, very much. You're a legend. Thank you. And we have something else as well. Oh my. This is amazing. Seriously, like, this is amazing. What the actual bike for a dog this is amazing i don't have a bike for a dog this is absolutely brilliant oh my god and it's pink which just makes it even cooler obviously oh no way this is so cool it's like an old-fashioned bike as well and it even comes with a helmet i probably won't use the helmet to be fair but the bike for props, I definitely will. I would really, really like to get into, into stop motion with my dolls. So um, once my studio, my studio is set up, I've got the most beautiful studio, but it's just too cold because there's no heating. And so I want to set up some cameras and do some stop motion with my Daddy Chew Smart Dolls. This is a bit too small for a smart doll, but it will fit my Italian Mamoni dolls, which is really cool, and also my Barbies. So that is absolutely brilliant. Look at that, the little basket, the wheels turn, do the pedals turn? so the pedals do turn and there is even a chain now does it power does it power the wheels i don't know does that i don't know i don't think it does no so it doesn't but it does turn the cogs which is still kind of cool so it looks really effective that is absolutely brilliant i love it thank you so much so i do have dioramas which is a bit like like a scene it's like a big scene and I have bedrooms for my dolls and everything set up. I kind of sacrificed my wardrobe, so I now have a floor drobe. I sacrificed my wardrobes, took off the doors and had all the shelves and used them for doll storage <laughs> instead of clothes. But there you go, because like, I really love my dolls. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay then, the next one we've got in here is, oh my goodness. So there is something that's rainbow. So I'm gonna open this one. This looks like it's a rainbow hair accessory, which is really cool. It's going to be for Ostara. She absolutely loves her hair to be pretty. Her hair is gorgeous, to be fair. I can't see it's so beautiful. But my daughter, Ebony, when she was little, she had super long blonde hair as well. So it just kind of runs in the family. I used to have normal hair. I had dreadlocks for, I don't know, about 20 years or something. Did I have dreadlocks 20 years? No. 
I had dreadlocks pretty much my whole adult life. Shaved them off when I went to Morocco because it was too hot. Came back, hated it, grew them straight back again and had them for 10 years before I cut them off because I started to go bald. I started to get stress alopecia. So I had my hair all cut off short. But there we go. This is absolutely beautiful. So there's a beautiful little kind of um, like a little diamond in there. Would it be a ru It'd be a ruby, wouldn't it, if it's red? So like a little ruby in there and a really long tailed bow. That is going to look so pretty. Ostara has just told me literally yesterday we were watching Cinderella on, on Disney and she said, Mummy, I really want to have a ball, like a ball gown. And she wants it to, she wants a rainbow ball gown with a rainbow tiara rainbow wings and rainbow hair things so honestly this is going to be oh and a rainbow wand as well so this is going to be so pretty thank you so much and it's really beautiful quality as well it's absolutely gorgeous and it has the little tiny clip there look so it's nice and it'll slide in the hair nice and easily like i don't like the crocodile clips because they tend to pinch your hair but that is so beautiful thank you so much that's gorgeous She's going to be very excited when she wakes up tomorrow. Well, actually, no. I might wait and give it her after school tomorrow so that she's not too excited. And we have a doll, which is awesome. And that is... Oh, no, it's not the end of the second one. We have a doll here. So this is a ball-jointed doll. Now, I collect ball-jointed dolls. Um, the ones I tend to collect are, like, Dolphy Dreams, um, Danny Choose the Dolls, which are my ultimate favourites, Atelier Mamoni and um, Angel Felia and things like that. So if you don't know what any of those are, go and Google them. So we have here a doll. It's um, not got any genitals, so I can show them. It's fine. So we have a doll, and there is the head, and it's got pixie ears. And I've got pixie, I don't know if you can see, actually. This is probably the worst one to show you. Oh, I tried to stretch my ear, and it blew out. So yeah, I was like up at 20 something millimetres, I think, and then it just went and then fell on the floor. So I have this little flappy penis ear, which is cool. But my ears, I don't know if you can tell, my ears are kind of pointed at the top, which is why I'm called Pixie. So I was actually born Kerry, but my mum called me Pixie when I was little. And you can't really tell, actually, my ears are super red because I'm under my hat. But yeah, they're kind of pointed at the top. My mum told me that when I was little, I was naughty and she used to peg me on the washing line by my ears. And she used to call me Pixie. So when my mum died, um, as a nod to her, I took the name Pixie on legally. So yeah, there we go. So I'm going to try and get the head on this doll, which hopefully should. Oh, it comes with a, li a little pair of shoes. I've just dropped, dropped the other one on the floor. A little pair of Mary Jane shoes, which is really cool. So you get the heads usually, and you have to just manoeuvre them on. <laughs> this head does not want to go on that neck. <laughs> that is a big ball to go in a little hole. And that's what she said. Okay, I will actually manoeuvre that on at some point, but I'm not going to do it tonight. Um, but that is really cool. And then what I normally do is send off my blank heads to a doll face up artist, which is usually Kuro Creates. She usually does all of mine. And then come back and I've got a doll that looks realistic or gothic or vampiric or whatever. But that is so cute. So thank you so much for new dolls. They are always welcome. Thank you so much. That is cool. And I think this is the last thing in this second parcel. Yep, it is. And it is some cabochons. So there we go. So if you don't know what cabochons are, they are like um, like embellishments you can use on crafts or cards and things. They usually have flat, flat backs. So you can glue them or use whatever and you can stick them on. Or, like I do as well, because I work with clay and Fimo, you can actually make dragons or things like that and you can push them in, in, into the clay. Please don't bake the eyes in these. If, you, if you're using the Fimo that you need to bake in the oven, do not put these eyes in first. Press them in, leave the indentations, bake your Fimo, bring it out, then glue the eyes in afterwards. Otherwise you might end up with them shattering, melting, smoking, whatever. So you really don't want to do that. But they are some cabochons, which are so cool. So I can use these for arts and crafts, which is fantastic. So thank you so much for that. That is amazing. Thank you. Where's my dog? I don't want to sit on my dog. My, 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 my little puppy's behind me. Oh, I don't want to sit on him because he's tiny. Okay, so we have two more parcels. And so I'm going to go for the smaller one of the two. And that's this one here. It feels very lightweight. Let's see what is in this one. Oh, straight away I can see there are more figures which are amazing. Oh my god, that is so good. I have to cut this one because I don't want to break anything. The packaging's really cool on Timo actually. It's quite it's quite good. Right, oh my gosh, so we have another another figure. So I'm gonna pause while I assemble uh, 
whilst I assemble this one. You can tell it's gone midnight. I'm starting to get tired. She's cool. Right, okay, I have assembled her and this one is super pretty as well. So this one I've used, I think it's a katana sword. I actually don't know to be honest with you. I'm not really up on my swords and stuff, but there we go. She is in red and white and she is so super pretty. And she has the long sword there, which is lovely. The, the details on the dress are absolutely gorgeous. They're so pretty. Like the flowers and everything are lovely. It's got the little bow detail at the back, which is beautiful. And she's just so pretty. I mean, just like the look at her face. She's really, really nice. She's got gorgeous eyes. And she, again, comes with one of these little black stands, which is really cool. But I probably won't use this. I should probably take the other one out. And um, I mind you saying that. I was going to say I was going to shelf sit her. But actually, she has a space, doesn't she? So I might have to sit her on this. But she is really, really nice. I really love these figurines. Thank you so, so much. I, I'm going to own, they're going to look so pretty now because I'm going to own loads just all sitting in a row on a shelf. So thank you so much. I love, love, love things like this. She is beautiful. Thank you. Okay, next thing we have is, it's pink, which is always cool because it's my favourite colour ever because I am a crap goth, obviously. And this looks to be like a little hoodie. And it is, that's exactly what it is. That was really high pitched then. <laughs> I think my balls just dropped. Oh no, when your balls drop that goes low, doesn't it? Oh my God, honestly. I worry about myself sometimes, the stuff I come out with. It just pops in my head. I have no filter and I just say it. I'm getting too hot in this. I can you see like I'm going all flushed. I think I'm perimenopausal. I'm going to be like, oh, no, I'm of that age. So we have a little hoodie, which is really cute. Now, I've actually seen these little hoodies and people are putting them over the knobs. No, that's not not the knobs, not the the knobs, the gear stick, um, your stick shift, whatever you call them over there. But like, yeah, you, your gear sticks in the cars. But this can be used for a little doll, which is really, really cool. Um, I do have some teeny, teeny, tiny dolls as well, which is really cool. But that is nice. So I do have a doll wardrobe, like I said earlier. I just keep random bits of clothing in because I never know when something's going to need it. So that is really funky. I would actually put it over the gear stick in my car, but I actually need to know where, where I'm going. So I'm not going to want to cover that up. But that is really cute. Thank you so much. And super, super cute things. <gasps> ah, no, this is so, so cute. This is perfect. I have one of these in pink in my dioramas for one of my doll bedrooms. And it is a little lamp. You pop it. I'm not going to do it now, actually, but you pop it into the base. You can see there's a base there. And it's a lamp and it actually comes with batteries and you can click it on and off. Oh, sorry, I'm going to do it. Two seconds. Right, okay, so these little things are so super cute, seriously. They are really nice. I've just started filming and this little green light has just appeared in the corner, the top right hand corner of my screen. What is that about? Why has it done that? Okay, I'm just going to stop it a second in case I'm live streaming or something stupid. It's done it again. I've never noticed that before. Like, like a little microphone, a little green lights on them. Why is that happening? That is bizarre. I'm not quite sure why that's happening. Anyway, I'm going to carry on. Whether I'm live streaming or not, I have no clue. But anyway, there's this little lamp. It's really cute. And I'm going to turn off the, the ring light. I'm in the dark now. But just look how powerful this is. <laughs> how cute is that? Seriously. <gasps> I can now tell ghost stories. This is a Timu unboxing session. Oh, my eyes look a bit creepy. What's the deal with that? That's weird. I've just blinded myself as well. But that is seriously, that is a super, super, super bright lamp for like a little tiny doll's house thing. Which is really cool. It's really nice. So I actually do have one of these in, in a bedroom for my Atelier Mimoni dolls. And they are so cute and they just sit on your desk. How awesome is that? Like literally, it's a working lamp and it's tiny. That is absolutely cool. Reminds me of the Disney Pixar little lamp that just jump, it jumps across. That is nice. Thank you so much for that. That is really cute. I love my miniatures. Seriously do. Okay, the next thing is... Oh, it's a little dragon. Oh my gosh. It looks a little bit like toothless as well, but except it's purple. I might have to cut this open rather than tearing it open because the packaging is not going to play ball. Try not to cut the... It's got golden string with it, so I'm going to try not to cut the string open. Okay. And this, so this oh, again has a little tiny bell in it. You can hear the bell. So I'm going to put that in there to make sure my dog doesn't get it. And it is a little teeny tiny dragon. 
which is absolutely so cute. Again, it's made of acrylic, it's really thick. It has the hole to thread at the top so I can hang it up. That is well cute. Oh my God. Ah. It's really similar colors to my YouTube channel logo as well, because eventually I will get my bat back. If you look at my early videos, I had an intro, which is really cool, but I don't have the software to be able to download that and, and use it. So I'm not using it at the moment, but hopefully I'll bring it back soon. But my bat would go do, 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 do. There we go. Oh my God, that is so cute. Thank you so much for that. That is adorable. Love it, thank you. Next one is, it's an orange hoodie. It's a Timu hoodie or Halfords, which is who my husband works for. There we go, that is really, really cool. I'm not gonna get it out of the packet. I'm gonna save it nice and put it into the doll wardrobe, but that is the same as the other one. And it's really, really cool. Again, dolls clothes are always welcome. So thank you so, so much for that. That is well cute. Oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, here we have what looks to be a little raven in a bottle. That is really nice. I'm, I'm so it's, it's a keyring. This one's a keyring. So I am actually not going to be taking everything out of the packets, I think, because I need to keep this video quite short and it's getting really late. But this is a beautiful, beautiful keyring, as you can tell from the back there. Look, it's like the top bits of ring and it's a little raven, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love ravens. Raven is my eldest daughter's middle name as well. And I would love a pet raven. <laughs> Never going to happen. So I might have to have a taxidermied one obviously ethically sourced um, eventually. That is really nice. And I'm gonna put that on my car keys. So thank you so very much for that. That's beautiful. Sorry if it seems I'm motoring through. It's just, I'm really tired and I really wanna get this done because I love doing unboxings. It's so exciting, but I'm trying to reduce my videos down because I talk too much. I don't know what this is, but she is cute. Oh my goodness, who is she? What is she and what are these? This is, what is it? Oh, they're like stockings. Oh my god, they're like 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 long socks. Oh wow, look at those. That is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Oh, so this is super super kawaii. I absolutely love things like this. I love the Lolita, the Gothic Lolita stuff, but I also really really love the yami and the kawaii and all that kind of stuff. It's really really nice. That is absolutely gorgeous. They are beautiful. And I have some pink Mary Jane shoes that these will go beautifully with. So thank you. I'm growing old disgracefully. I'm, I'm disgracefully even. So yeah, my like ideal look would be like a pink corset, pink tutu, pink fishnets, pink like platform boots, big spiky hair and all that kind of stuff. I just love it. I love it. I wish I was like 20 years younger again. But these are beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm going to save those for when I go out which is not very often, to be fair, because I have crippling anxiety, but they are so pretty. Thank you so much. Okay, nearly at the end of this one now. So we have a blue hoodie. We're gonna have the rainbow here. This is really cool. So there's another one of the hoodies in the packets, which is so super cool. Again, I think I'm gonna give one of these to Osara because she also has some little like little dolls as well, which is really nice. Thank you so much. Again, dolls clothes are very, very welcome. So thank you for that. That is amazing. Thank you. So many. <gasps> Guess what this one is? It's a purple one. So, so uh, seriously, I'm gonna have like rainbow dolls. I just, oh, I love that idea of having there's lots of different colours. It's incredible. That is really cute. Thank you so, so much. Lots and lots of clothes. I don't think I've ever had so many dolls clothes in one go. That is awesome. Thank you very, very, very much. And we have, oh, okay. Two more items left. And one of them is, it's a pink train. So I'm not going to get this out because I think there's quite a lot of pieces involved in this. But if you look closely, look. They've got some carriages with little bears in, which is really, really cute. There's the engine of the train, which is so super lovely. And that is going to be like something so cute to go, probably in Ostara's room actually, which is really, really nice. I think it's a Christmas one because that looks, it looks like it's a Christmas tree and obviously it's facing backwards, but that could be a snowman as well. That is actually really cute. And also they have little interlink, inter interlocking pieces so you can actually put the carriages with the train and probably pull it along as well i must admit the quality of the toys from timu are absolutely fantastic i, I can't fault them at all they're amazing and that is so super cute and i am going to give that to our star for her windowsill so thank you so much for that that is lovely and the last one on this package is 
a hat. Now this makes me think that this parcel potentially is from Anne-Marie because she actually had bought a star a hat before and she loved it and um, she, she, she just loved the hat and obviously it's very very cold so I'm going to open this now just look at this isn't that absolutely gorgeous oh my gosh so it's like I said my little, my, my little girl's only six my big one's 20 but yeah my little girl's six and she loves anything like this and this is beautiful quality it's very 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 thick it's knitted um the decal on it is stitched it's not it's not like like a it's not like like a patch or anything it's not like like a iron on patch it's properly sewn on which is absolutely lovely like you can see all the back in there the pom-poms are lovely and thick really really nice it's just a beautiful hat an absolutely gorgeous winter hat so she is gonna love that thank you very very much for that i'll try and take a picture of her as well because she's gonna look so cute i love it thank you and on to the last one so this is really weird shape and it feels solid so i really really like left this one to last because i'm quite curious as to what's inside it so this says pixie for you <laughs> right this this one made me laugh this this parcel this this label made me laugh it says pixie for you not pixie winter captain cory p.o box so this is from the p.o box so this is is this even a timu one i so there is a hint of a Timu package, uh, like a little bit of Timu tape there. So yeah, I think it is a Timu parcel, but it's come to the PO box. So yeah, I don't know, but it feels really cool. So I'm gonna pause while I open it. Definitely Timu, 100% Timu. It comes for the bag and it says Timu shop like a billionaire. And the little handles are just folded in there. So you've got a little tote bag, which is really cool. Reusable, recyclable and eco-friendly. So we'll be holding on to that. That is really cool. It's a nice little bag that came inside the package, which is cool. And this package looks bloody amazing. Seriously, check that out. <laughs> that is so cool. Looks like loads of storage, which is really cool. And it's pink, which just makes me so super excited. Okay, so first of all, before we get to the pink things, it sounds a little bit rude, doesn't it? We have a Starburst steak light. So actually, these are so nice. Corey, my little boy Corey, who you see on the cushion there, he has these um, at his resting place, and they look so pretty when they when they are lit up. That is lovely. It reminds me a bit like a rainbow dandelion, which is so super nice. So that is really, really cool. Thank you so much for things like this. Like this really is nice. We're doing an eco garden for my son in his memory as well. So things like that will go in there. So thank you so much for this. That is beautiful. The next thing we have, which is little and pink, is it looks like a little torch projector. So Ostara has these and you get the little discs, which are on there, look, and they have pictures on them. And you slot them into the end and um, sometimes the battery operated and sometimes the manual you can spin it and it just projects light onto the ceiling which is really cool or sometimes you can look through them now this actually does have a switch so I presume it's batteries yeah there's like a little tag there I'm not gonna open this because this is for a starer so there's like a little safety tag you pull that out I think it's got little watch batteries in it so always be careful with those around kids make sure they're fastened up properly and this will project little pictures which you can see on to the ceiling which is really cool and these look as though they could be disney princesses or something so that is really nice and she will love that thank you so very much oh she's one spoiled little girl isn't she okay so i'm going to save the big pink things because it's three of those and we've got some more little things underneath so gonna go what is this Look, that is so cool look at that look so this looks like it is a, a watch or a bracelet or something and it has little tiny batteries in it which makes me they, they do worry me a little bit but as long as they are secure they're fine so they're the batteries to watch out for seriously if you're giving your kids things like this make sure they're fully secure because they can kill your children like seriously like like i've seen programs on it i'm not like being all dramatic like watch batteries and things they can swallow them so please be careful make sure they are but obviously Osara is six and she's really, really sensible. So this is really cool. I'm not going to unwrap it again, but this goes around. You can tell straight away it moves. So that is going to spin on a wrist, which is so super cool. All right, sorry, I had to stop then for breath because I started to get breathless. I'm like, oh my gosh. So that is really, really funky. And it's full of like little gems as well. 
which is cool. So thank you so, so very much for that. That is really, really funky. I love the colour of it, it's so pretty. And there is another train, which is a Christmas one again. So I might put this one away for Christmas. This one is red, it has snowflakes on it and you can see the snowman inside which is really cool. So this red one will go with the pink one, which is so, so nice. There's a little engine again, which is really, really cute. So that's nice. They're made of plastic and the figures look really cute. I think they're actually removable. I think you can take the little figures and the presents out and stuff, which is cool. Again, it comes with little links so you can link it all together and pull it all along. And that's a really cool little toy. So thank you very, very much for that one again. Thank you so much. I'm perched literally on the edge of the sofa because my puppy is right behind my butt. Can't see, oh, I'm gonna have to move you. <laughs> Look at this little sleepy, little sleepy puppy still got his ribbon. He's been playing, he's been playing with some, some, some ribbon. Yeah. Is it attached to your claw? There we go. He's been, a, he's, been, he's been really sleepy, but he sleeps behind my bum and I literally perch on the edge of the sofa because it's like, he's got a lovely bed over there, but he just likes to be with me. Hey darling, this is spooky. Yeah, he's a little chihuahua puppy. He's my baby. Mm. Just put you back down to sleep there. Look, let's move you right back a bit. There we go. Come on. Oh my gosh. Sit back a little bit now because my arse is so fat. Like when I perch on there, I've cut off the circulation to my legs. Not good. Right. Okay. And there's one more thing in this before I get to the pink items. And that is a, like a little envelope, which is cool. And inside this, we have. I don't know. It's a pirate coin, which is so cool. Oh my gosh. And it's in a collectible little, a little collectible. Um, what is, I've just brain farted. A coin kind of case, a coin case. That's probably it. Jesus, honestly, I need to stop filming late at night. This is a really cool pirate coin. It's actually really, really heavy. And on the back, look at that. It's cool, it's like got a treasure map, which is really, really funky. That is going to go on Corey's bed or somewhere in Corey's bedroom because Corey was a pirate fanatic. He's Captain Corey, knighted by Jack Sparrow himself. For real, go and check out on Crack in the Box because they did it on a video there. That is so nice and that is definitely a Corey coin. So thank you so much for that. I absolutely love that, that's brilliant, thank you. And we are now on to the mystery pink boxes. And we have three of these. Oh my God, they're like little drawer sets. So they're really cool. So for a start, the first thing I see is the fact there's two holes in the back there, which means they're wall mountable, which is perfect. Now there's three of these, so I'm gonna share them with Ostara because Ostara's room is obviously pink and girly. My YouTube studio is also pink and girly and Sanrio, so only fair to share with her. These are amazing. So not only can you use these for doll dioramas, for putting like your little doll shoes and things like that in, you can use them for crafts as well. Your little elastic bands, your beads, your aqua beads, little whatever. These things like this are amazing. I love storage, absolutely love it. And you can stack them, they can put them side by side, or you can have them just on a shelf and just have them for decoration. So these are amazing, thank you. And these really will come in handy because me and Asara do crafts and we do love doll things as well. So thank you very, very much. You are all amazing. And that is the end of the second unboxing for the Timu. And honestly, thank you so much for absolutely all of it. It is incredible. My dolls have gone better clothes than I have. My dolls have a bigger wardrobe than I have, definitely. And I just love everything. Thank you so much. Thank you for your, for your generosity. Sorry, I am stuttering like an absolute twat this evening. Like I just cannot speak at all. Um, but honestly, thank you for the presence. It's really nice. I love doing unboxing videos. Um, I sometimes have to bulk do them. So I will film like three or four videos, one after the other, because I'm having a good day. If my anxiety is bad, it just means I've got, I've got my arse covered if I want to release a video and I don't have to worry about trying having to film and go, oh my God. So yeah, thank you so much. I'm tired, I'm waffling. My mental health's a little bit ski whiff at the moment. So sorry that I'm a bit like weird. I'm always weird, but I'm weirder than normal. But thank you so much for everything. If you like what you have seen, please do subscribe to this channel. That help really helps me. I can't even remember if I did this at the beginning of the video, but just in case, 
I'm trying to get this video, this not this video, this channel to 20,000 subscribers. And that's when the giveaway starts. So for every 5,000 subs, I will do another giveaway. And they're really good giveaways. They're like really nice prizes as well. And I'll pick people at random across the world. I will pay for postage anywhere in the world. So if you're in Timbuktu or wherever, you know, I mean, I, I kind of draw the line at like, like launching into space. So definitely keep it on Earth and I will pay for the postage. But yeah, thank you so much for supporting this channel, for sticking with me and my madness. Um, thank you for watching to the end. It's appreciated. Please do tell me what was your favourite thing that I unboxed. Um, if anything was from you, please do let me know down below because like I said, Timu does not come with notes, so I have no clue who anything is from. But thank you so much. You're all frigging amazing. Please do um, yes, care. come and say hi on Facebook if you're over there as well. And subscribe to TikTok as well, which is brilliant. So I shall see you all again super soon. Goodbye.